everyone and welcome back to the hexagon challenge here on sean does fm i hope you are doing well and today we enter the quarterfinals of the second phase of liga mx here in mexico and we take on pilatalo fc over two legs so if you're looking forward to that remember to go down below leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't done so already also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well much like for Klopp's sake 97 did hopefully you appreciate the shirt today my man and that is greatly appreciated anyone who does subscribe to the channel but we haven't played any games since yesterday's episode where we played Pachuca a two-all draw in our final on-camera game before we enter the playoffs if you missed that episode I will leave a link in the top right corner for you but no game since yesterday where we had that draw and one following a nil or with Deportivo Toluca so we go into this game having had a few weeks of a freshen up and nearly at full strength if we go to the first team because as I said a few times still learning the names of these players from opposition teams here in Mexico we only have one change going into today's game Diego Hernandez is out with an injury a twisted knee and he's out for two to five days so he's gonna miss this first leg might be back for the second but that might be a stretch so coming in for him Lucas Nunez the player who's been very versatile for us can play up front and in the midfield I think he should do a good job on that box to box role considering how good he can be going forward but that's our only change otherwise we are at full strength going into this game so without further ado we will crack into it when we come back the away leg from the Estadio La Colegidora as we try to progress to the semi-finals and hopefully earn a Champions League spot for next season in these playoffs. And here is the Qualitalo lineup. They're playing a 4-3-3, which is fairly narrow. It's actually a 4-3-1-2 really, but more or less a 4-3-3. Quite narrow. We're looking to go a bit wider and hopefully we can improve our form from our last few games in the league where it just dipped off a little bit once we put the rotation team out against one of the bottom teams in Puebla, but we will be playing right to left in the dark blue uniform, and Quiratalo kicking off playing left to right. They have possession early. Vega is staying this game on an injury, so that's interesting, but nothing happening inside the first 30 seconds. They do have a throw in, and we do get possession back from it, so an early highlight for us here. We boot it long, but no one's going to get on the end of it for us and Quiratalo try and play a ball forward it's a poor pass now good areas lovely ball for Wellison great chance early but that's a wonderful save there from Olsis that was a golden chance to get an away goal early on in this first high that would have been really good start to this game but a really good save from the Quiratalo goalkeeper keeps it at nil all after two minutes 35 minutes gone we have a corner in what has been a very quiet first half Puente puts in the back of the net and we go one nil up or maybe not as the referee looks like he's gonna check this with VAR looked pretty solid that goal didn't look like anything too dodgy was going on but there is an offside so we better check this replay but yeah two good chances for us now one where we the goalkeeper pulled out a good save and this time yeah there is a player who's just offside I suppose he's impeding the goalkeeper and that will keep it at nil all as we get inside the last 10 minutes of the first half here away from home. And that is half time. A very quiet first half of this first league with only two real highlights. We really should be up by a goal. That early chance to Wallison was a very good one. Then a goal ruled out for offside. But we are looking the more dominant team based on what we've seen, albeit only for a few highlights. And also the stats you can see we've had triple the amount of shots as Quiritalo. Both of theirs on target, only three of ours have been hitting the back of the net but pretty happy with how things are going just be nice to get a goal in the back of the net after that good early chance we had in the first half but we'll keep the same starting 11 out there for the second half and get things underway and we will be kicking off the second half playing left to right sorry if I'm glancing to the right New Zealand are playing Australia and rugby sevens at the Olympics at the moment so I'm trying to double duty but good early chance here for Puente and the forces another good save there out of Olsis that shot a bit weaker than Wallisons in the first half. We have a throw shortly off the back of that, but that's two really good chances for us at the start of both halves now, and we haven't been able to put them away, so hopefully that doesn't cost us. Barco holding the ball up just outside the box for us here. Now, Lenan just loses position briefly, but we do get it back as they just can't quite keep possession. Some good short passing from us here to start this second half. Nice ball for Wallison. Another really good save from Olsis and goal for Quilatalo. And their goalkeeper is well and truly keeping them in this at the moment. We should have at least one goal by now. We cannot get ahead 
on the end of that corner that results from that good save. We do hold position up and now Barco just outside the box. Nunez over to Renan. So we've got a few decent set piece takers in this game, but Montiel with a good slide tackle there. And now it is the opposition who look to get an attack going, but it is cut out highlight wise and it does remain nil all after 50 minutes. 65 minutes gone here. We're going to make some substitutions. A few players on average ratings. Wellison's going down to a yellow heart. So I think we'll take him off. And Nunez not playing very well in the box-to-box -box role either. So we'll bring Gerlado and Garcia on for those two. Hopefully get a bit more going forward. Because we are playing quite well. Just need a bit more end product. As it remains nil all inside this last 25 minutes. 79 minutes gone here. It's a free kick to Quilatalo in a dangerous area. Of the pitch, Ramirez gets the ball back after putting it in. Hernandez with a header, good chance for them, but luckily it is more or less straight at Schneller, and it does remain nil all. We look to get something going on the counter, and that's a nice ball out to Garcia, allows it to bounce, then controls it up to Puente. Tight angle to shoot from, it's blocked, but we will get a corner from this. Still looking the more dangerous team. That was really Quiratalo's first highlight that we've seen in this game, so hopefully we can get back on track here, a corner, but no one can get their head to it for us. Yet again, Montevente makes his way forward, but good slide tackle from Barco. I other will tidy things up, and it remains nil all with 10 minutes to go. And 86 minutes gone here, still nil all, still dominating the game, but no goals. But Renan has picked up a little bit of an injury. We've only got one midfielder left on the bench, and it is De Luna. So we're going to bring him on. We might switch him and Barco around just because I think De Luna is a bit better off as a CDM than an advanced midfielder. But that's our last substitution. Hopefully we can get something going in the last five minutes because it does remain nil all with not long left. We'll tell the boys to be a bit more direct, a bit more expressive, and hopefully we can get something going late on as it is a throw-in here off the back of that substitution to Quilatalo deep in their half. And they just hold the ball up here at the moment, get it out to Monteventi. Nearly loses position there over to Koila. And they look to get something going, but Ayala does cut that ball out nicely, does our left back. And now it's Garcia making his way forward, having come off the bench a little while ago. Slide tackle keeps possession. Puente just outside the box, tries to put one top right corner. Good save from Olsis, and it does still remain nil all. 19 minutes gone, we enter injury time. There's going to be four minutes of it, but we have a corner looking for a goal. Feels like we deserve it. Good areas puts this in. It's headed back out. But he will tidy things up for us. Just makes his way in the box. It's a tackle. We do keep possession from it. A few little foots in there from Quilatalo. But we were good enough to hold the ball. Puente with a long shot. Forces a really good save that time. Going for the opposite corner to the one he went for before. And it does still remain nil all. We have a corner headed away from Quilatalo. And they cling on to this nil all score line. A ball played over the top. They do cut it out. They look to play one deep. But Montoya, a good header. And now we look to get going again through De Luna. And now Gutierrez, long shot, it's blocked, but he will get possession back and unfortunately runs it out. And we've got two and a half minutes left to try and pinch a win. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. We're in the last minute, although they do have a player off here. So we might be able to take advantage of that. We put a ball in Gutierrez. It's headed back out to Ayala, but he's able to control things with a bit of time. Now De Luna back to Ayala. What can he do here? Puts a ball in. Good areas. Barco. Good areas. Garcia. Up to Barco. Clayton. We're knocking the ball about nicely outside the box here. But we don't have much time left to try and get an away goal. Which would be very nice from this game. Ball over to Ayala. Lots of space. Can he fizz one in for us? Just holds it up. Puts one in. Puente gets it in the back of the net. And with five seconds left to go in this game. We go 1-0 up. And get a crucial... And to be fair, it feels like it's pretty well deserved away goal. We've been dominant throughout most of this game, and it's taken us until the dying embers to get a goal from this. Some really good chances early on in both halves, but Puente just retreating. It's a really good finish considering his momentum's going backwards. He gets it in the top left corner. He is well and truly onside. Maybe the body's in the way, got in the way of the goalkeeper there, but it is 1-0 to Monterey. In this away leg, we are one minute over time now. They look to get something going down the side. It's a good tackle there from Garcia, I believe. They try and get the ball out of the dugout. And by the time they do that, it is full time. And we somewhat escape with a 1-0 win. Felt like we deserved it. You look at the stats. They didn't offer a great deal. We probably should have got two goals at least. Some really good chances early on 
and both halves in that game for us. But in the end, we get an away goal late and we will take that because that could prove important as we head into the home leg. But that's good for us. We have a 1-0 lead after the first league against Quilatalo, and we'll be back shortly with that second league. But before we get into that second league, we'll bring you guys the scores from the other ties as well. Pachuca, 1-0 up over Club America after the first league of that tie, albeit that was their home game, so somewhat to be expected, but Club America behind a 2 all draw between Tigres and Pumas, and it is Zolos Tijuana who hold a 2-1 lead after their home league against Dolados. So that's how things stand going into the second league. And as I said, we'll be back shortly with team sheets. Hopefully, we might have Hernandez back for that second game at home where we take a 1-0 lead into it. And we are back for the second league with that 1-0 lead. Unfortunately, Hernandez is not back from his injury and Renan's also picked up a yellow card. So what we've done is Nunez has moved into that advanced playmaker role and who Gerardo comes into the box-to-box -box role. Hopefully, Nunez performs a bit better than he did in the first league in a different role. Crudatalo with the same shape and similar looking team out there as well. They are in the light blue kicking off playing left to right and hopefully we can hold on to the lead that we earned in that first league away from home as it starts off 1-0 to us on aggregate. They do have the ball early here, do Crudatalo as they hold the ball up quite nicely inside their own half but nothing too threatening early doors and we do cut that out and it does remain nil all after one minute. 15 minutes gone here and it is a free kick to Quilatalo. Ayala picking up an early yellow card for us, but apart from that, no highlights since the opening one, but based on what we've seen stat-wise and in-game, it looks like Quilatalo have started this game off the stronger of the two teams in this tie as compared to the first one when we were really on top of them for most of the game, but they're holding the ball up quite nicely. Just outside the box, good long shot there from Koira, but forces a good save out of Schneller, and he does get the job done tipping that over the bar. They will have a corner, but they're looking the stronger team early doors, and Schneller with that good aerial reach and height will claim that corner, and it does remain nil all after about 20 minutes. And now we will have a throw-in shortly off the back of it and look to get our first attack of the game going. It's allowed to bounce. They pump one long, but we do get possession back through Gerardo, and now Ayala on the ball back to Gerardo. Tries to pick out a pass, and it is cut out. And now Montiel picks the ball out for Hernandez, who just onside perhaps, it's a tight angle, has a shot but puts it in the back of the net. And there goes that away goal advantage that we had after the first league, 20 minutes into it. And it is all square at one all on aggregate, 1-0 on the day. He is just onside. Time does run quite nicely there. Did Hernandez, tight angle, maybe Schneller should be doing better. But to be fair, just inside that far post. And just like that, it is one all after 20 minutes, albeit we do have a highlight straight from kickoff. So hopefully we can strike back here as we look to get something going for the first time in this tie, the second leg of it anyway. As so far, Quilatalo definitely the better team, but there's a good ball from Gutierrez and Wallison equalizes straight away for us. That's a really nice strike back for us and it makes it 2-1 on aggregate, one all on the day. We do need to be careful from here on out though, because if they get Another goal, and it's a tie at the end. They will go through on away goals, but some good play from us. Nice ball there from Gutierrez and Wellison, just sneaking that past the goalkeeper at the near post. And it's back level on the day, one goal up on aggregate. 24 minutes gone, and we look to get a quick fire double here through a corner. Nunez finds Paolo's head, but it is just over the bar. In fact, it might have even been Puente, but it's still one all on the day. 31 minutes gone here, and we have a free kick deep in our half, but we're able to keep possession from it as we knock the ball about amongst ourselves. Long ball forward and Puente back to Wellison. And we now make our way into the right part of the field. Good ball trying to pick out Puente, but Benitez just doing enough to cut that out, albeit the clearance from the goalkeeper not great. But now Montiel after a bit of a sloppy pass there, perhaps from Clayton and Benitez with a good chance to make it two all on aggregate. But the shot is straight at Schneller and it does remain one all for now after half an hour on the day, but 2-1 on aggregate. 37 minutes gone here, a free kick. He finds Barco, does Nunez. That is a really good chance, but the goalkeeper, another good save there from Olsa. So he's did a good tie on the hole. And then another good save from the Paolo header. Keeps it at one all as we get closer to half time in the second league. 41 minutes gone, a busier first half. Then in the first league, they have a corner here. Do Quilatalo this time straight at Schneller with that good aerial reach, as we said. And we might look to get something going here 
on the counter. We roll it backwards, but now look to play out from the back, just waiting for some space to open up. And that does happen through Ayala in a bit of space here, cutting inside. He makes his way forward. We'll find Goody areas. Clayton O on the overlap. And we look to get into the opposition half of the field, which we do. Puente Nunez. Good run here from Puente. And he'll put that in the back of the net. Nunez with his first assist. That's a really good ball from him. I thought they might pick out Wellison a little bit sooner. Goody areas up to Puente. You can see about now Wellison was making his way forward. But back to Nunez. Picks out Puente. Good ball. And he buries it in the bottom left corner. And just before half time. We get the two goal cushion we're after in this tie. 3-1 on aggregate and 2-1 on the day. And that is half time in the second leg. And as I said, we fought back from a pretty average first 20 minutes of that half. You can see XG wise, we didn't really get kicking into gear until they scored. But luckily we replied immediately through Wellison and took the lead late on through Puente. So pretty happy how things ended up in that half, albeit Querletaro. Definitely looking the stronger team in those first 20 minutes. A pretty even first half, but luckily for us, two goals up on aggregate. So I think we'll leave things the way they are as we go into the second half, having built up a little bit of momentum late in that first one. And with that two goal advantage on aggregate with 45 minutes left to go in this tie. 53 minutes gone here, the first real highlight of the second half. An early yellow card to Quilatalo from the restart highlight, but... This is the real first highlight. Good ball for there for Puente as we try and make it 3-1 on the day, but blasts it wide and it does remain 2-1 for now, but 3-1 on aggregate. 56 minutes gone and we look to get another goal in the back of the net again as we have a throw in and we play the ball up to Gutierrez. Makes his way inside the box. Ball across, cut out by Nagila, but Gutierrez ties things up for us again. Has a shot. Good effort from him. Forces a really good save out of Olsis, but the score will still remain 2-1, but we have yet Another throw in as we try and extend this lead and just put the game beyond doubt. Good slide tackle there from Montiel, but Clayton will keep the ball. We put it in. Puente puts the ball in the back of the net, but I don't think it's going to count the referee just holding this up for a VAR check. And about 99.9% .9 of the time, we know that results in no goal. And indeed, that is the case. So back to our two goal cushion, unfortunately. Good ball from Clayton. He's only just offside, to be fair. But probably a fair call. Good finish, but it does remain 2-1 for now. Okay, 64 minutes gone here, and we are going to make our first substitution of this second leg. Barco is down to a yellow heart, and more importantly, if he picks up a yellow card, he would be unavailable for the first leg of the semi-final. So with that in mind, we'll bring DeLuna on for him for these last 26 minutes, where we still have a two-goal lead on aggregate. 72 minutes gone, and it is a throw-in to Quilatalo as they look to equalise on the day and get that away goal advantage, which we are looking to keep level at this stage, but we still have the two-goal buffer, so hopefully we can hold on from here. They do knock the ball about on the edge of the box, but we do get the ball back, and now Wellison driving down the left-hand side. Can we wrap this up with our third on the day? Just holding the ball up, finds good areas, has a shot on the volley, but more or less straight at Ulsus, and it does remain 2-1 for now on the day, but 3-1 on aggregate. 76 minutes gone here, and Wellison, after getting that early goal to strike back for us, is on a red heart. We'll bring Garcia on for him, just save him for the semi-final, provided that we do make it. But fresh leagues on that left-hand side, with the last 15 minutes in mind, we still have a two-goal lead on aggregate. And another red heart after 80 minutes this time. The other winger, Gutierrez, set up that goal for Wellison. We'll be taking him off. Good solid game from him, of course, those wingers. Still coming back from injury. Below, but can come on for him for these last 10 minutes. Hopefully, we can hold on to this lead both on the day and on aggregate. Two goals it is as we enter the last 10 minutes of this tie. And right as we make that substitution, we will have a corner. Nunez to put this in. Finds Puente, and surely that will seal it. Surely now we are guaranteed a spot in the semi finals. 3 1 on the day, 4 1 on aggregate. It would take. A bit of a bottle job from here for us to be losing this with only 10 minutes to go. Good ball from Nunez has really stepped into that Grenan role quite well. That advanced playmaker role who can take all our set pieces. And we do go 3-1 up thanks to that header from Puente. But Quiratalo looking to strike back much like we did earlier in the game. Ramirez will find Kaula just out in the edge of the box. Montiel with a shot. Hernandez actually gets his head to it. But Schneller with a good rebound save. It does remain 3-1 for now on the day. Throwing after 85 minutes, it was to us. Cleared away from Quilatalo, but Paolo will tidy things up for us. Clayton to Nunez. 
who set up that last goal through the corner. That's a poor pass from him. And Monte Alto Hernandez, it's a bit soft from us. And he chips the goalkeeper, gets it on target. And they are somewhat back in this. They need two more goals with only five minutes left here. Do Quilatalo a bit of sloppy play from us there. Nunez first with the pass. And then Hernandez, just too much pace for one of Montoya or Pablo, I believe. Good finish from Hernandez to get his double. And it is still a two-goal advantage to us, though, as we enter the last five minutes. 94 minutes gone here, 3-2 on the day and luckily in the last few minutes it feels like we are going to be going through thanks to some narrow wins in both legs and that is exactly what has happened took us a while to get that goal in the first league and that in the end proved quite important because Quilatalo were a lot better in the second league at our home ground but we still did enough to get three goals in the back of the net bouncing back quite nicely after they got one early on and we will be making our way through to the semi-finals and that's nice to say because this team did provide a good test for us, of course, being the team that finished third in the league table against us in second. But we'll come back shortly, bring you the other results from the other quarterfinal ties and then the semi-final draw before tomorrow's episode. And here are the other results with ours up top. Club America coming back from 1-0 down to win the home league of their tie against Pachuca 4-1 on aggregate. So a good bounce back from them. Dolados go through two all on away goals against Holos. Tijuana and then it is Pumas on away goals over Tigre so it will be us Club America, Dolados and Pumas in the final four we'll come back shortly with the draw hopefully we can avoid top place Club America until the final and get one of those other two teams but we'll see what happens when the draw is made and we are back for the semi-final draw let's see which of the other three teams that we get Pumas first up and we will be playing Pumas I do not mind that at Uldorados against Club America. Have to heavily favour Club America in that tie. But for us, we will be taking on Pumas. Of course, the team that we played in our first game in charge here. Beat them 3-1 on the day from memory. And that was our first game in charge, of course. So these players that we've had should be a lot more tactically familiar with what we do now. So quite confident going into that tie. Although they might be after some revenge. But pretty happy with that. And of course, if we can win that tie, we will be entering the Champions League next season as long as we make that final. So quite happy with that draw. That's what you got to look forward to in tomorrow's episode. Two legs against Pumas in the semi-finals of the second phase of Liga MX here in Mexico. But if you did enjoy today's episode, two tight wins over Quilatalo FC, then remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And also, if you haven't done so already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well as I said at the start. It is greatly appreciated. And until tomorrow, both leagues against Pumas, where we look to book a Champions League spot for next season here in North America. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.